Hello there, everybody. This is Grant Rossano's The Collector 75. Welcome to my last pre TF Nation video, um, and also with about the seventh or eighth attempt at this video. Each time it's just gone really weirdly, and so I gave up. Um, but it's getting late now, and I want to sort of like get this video up really um, soon before TF Nation would be nice. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm sticking with this one no matter how it goes. So, anyway, right, so where are we going to start first? We're going to start first with. Um, uh, one quick side note, um, Zork Rider and Wilderness, I really hope you two work out what's going on between you two because um, I think this has been one big misunderstanding there um, and you know we all want to get on and everything so I just hope you know you two can sort it out. Um, anyway that's that for that. Uh, yes so my pre-TF nation, now a lot of people this um, have been doing um, uh, their sort of like wish list. Now what's on my wish list? I don't know. Um, it's hard to say because there's so much out that I haven't got these days. I'm so far behind. Um, pretty much everything is on my wish list, but I haven't got the money. I've only got about £300 to take with me um, at the moment. So, yeah, so it's sort of like going to be a bit touch and go what I can afford, what I can get, what I want. Um, but don't know i'm just gonna play it by ear do you know what I was, I was thinking on one of my previous takes i said like the pretender monsters from g1 because i only have two of them complete that'd be nice to finish off that one um but i know chances of seeing all the four that i need very unlikely so i'm not really gonna say that so really what's on my wish list anything i see that i want um and i can afford and justify buying that is it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not really going to go in there too much. There is some stuff I want, um, like today, which I picked up. I actually got some stuff today. I got uh, Croc here, and I got Quake. Now, I actually have both these guys, obviously, in different moulds. Um, uh, Skullcruncher and Hardhead. I got these guys, one, because I do like both these characters. And um, I looked, um, well, actually went online to, where was it, Smith's, and my local one in Slough actually had these guys in. Though, to be honest, they didn't bother putting them out on the pegs. What they thought they'd do is um, stick them up on the top shelf um, in their box. So no one could see them and no one knew they are up there. So, I mean, I just asked the guy to go and get the box down just so I could have a shifty. Um, yeah, they were in there. Um, and I had a look in the box and all the other figures from that wave were in it. And they were like two each in the figure. But these ones were just one each. So I thought maybe they're slightly more harder to come by. So I'm going to buy two now. Um, these are the two I'm going to go for. So I've got them too. Um, otherwise, I probably would have got Top Spin and probably Perceptor, actually. Um, but I want them all. So, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to try and get all of them. All that wave. All the new wave that's out. Oh, pardon me. Um, all the little um, little Titan Master geezers, which I haven't got. Past wave two of them, I think. I think I've got one from wave three. But all of them, if I can see them... Um, if I can see a Titan Returns Octane, I should have a Blitzwing on the way. I bought one from China for 24 quid. Hopefully that should get here soon. Um, yeah, an Octane would be nice. Uh, I might get a Black Shadow if I can see one cheap enough. I'm not going to pay over the odds. Um, I could have got a Broadside today. Um, they had it in Smith's, 24 quid. But after Zork Rider only played 18 out of Toys R Us, um, I ain't paying 24. No way. Um, especially because I don't like one of the alt modes. It's a bit, a bit, so... That is a if I see it cheap jobby, um yeah so it's just basically all that sort of stuff really I'm not gonna um, fork out now I think Wilderness actually said that he reckons that most of like the Titan Return um, deluxes will be around twenty quid now I actually agree with him but what I'm gonna do is um, most Smiths have them on delivery um, for eighteen ninety nine so if they're twenty quid at TF Nation I don't buy them unless I see them cheaper than that. So I'm just going to get them. And if I see them that price, then I'll just literally order them on my phone while I'm there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. Because um, money is not my biggest luxury at the moment. So I've got to look at what I can sort of like get cheap. I wanted to get these two guys though. So I had a little bit of money. Not really money, but it was mainly the money I was taking the TF Nation anyway. Because I'm only going to have about three or 400. I can't remember if we always said that. I said it on one of my previous takes of this video. So anyway, so yeah, so that's on what's on my wish list, really. Um, now, whether I'm actually going to have enough time to buy anything, because I'm going to be in the queue for Bob Budiansky for about three days, I think. Um, what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to see how many, how many sort of, what the queue's like, how many, 
not how many people's in it, but how many items each person has to get signed. Now, if they've only got three, I'll just get like three or four done, maybe five at a push. Um, but if other people have got 10, then if that's the general thing, and that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not generally going to have too much. I'm going to have a certain amount in my bag and then just see. But I've got them prioritised. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round two or three times. Um, I've got more probably for Simon Furman and Jeff Senior than I do Bob, really. Um, but that's not a problem because last year they were just twiddling their thumbs through most of it, from what I remember. Um, there wasn't a massive queue for them. That is a stark contrast when I think I went to Transforce 2001. 2000, something like that. Might have been 2001. Might have been 2000. Might have been 1999. Um, when they first sort of like appeared. And they were there for like, I mean, the queue for them was out of control. And it was a massive queue and you could only go around once. From what I remember. Um, yeah. So that's my plan of attack on that one. Um, I'm going to buy some toys first, then sort out all the signatures I need. I need them getting done. That is one of the main things I'm going for. Um, rather than the toys, I'm going to get stuff signed, mainly by Bob, really. Um, so that is what I'm going to spend most of my Saturday doing. Uh, the rest of the time, um, actually, no, I, I did want to mention this, actually. I almost forgot. Now, this is one of the last sort of things that's on my thing. Like, if I don't get time or nothing, this is one of the ones. I'm not too bothered if I get signed by Bob, but I wanted to sign my issue number one of the G1 definitive thing. Now, there's a good reason for this, because... Even though he didn't write those first four issues, he plotted them and everything like that. So he knew what was going on, plus he did all the character things. And this this actually edition has, um, apart from I'm going to get probably Simon Firm to sign this as well. So it'd be nice to have the, both their signatures on one thing. But I wanted to show you this because I've never seen this before, actually. But it does have the original ending for the four-issue miniseries from the US one. Um, and instead of there's, there's the normal ending which everyone knows about which is where Shockwave comes and then it says not the end continued in issues five like three months later and on the other the page it's got the original ending which has Optimus Prime standing triumphant um, without Shockwave coming along to literally take him out um, and that was going to be the end um, if it hadn't carried on past issue four which is kind of cool I've never seen that reprinted before so yeah, I'm going to get that signed. Um, anything else? Plus about oh, 10,000 things. I've actually got my G1 Megatron. I was going to do like a combined video for TF Nation and um, a Loft Hall number 8. But I think I'm going to do that as a separate video, to be honest. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So um, what else can I say about TF Nation? Apart from the fact that I'm looking forward to seeing everyone that I saw last year and everyone that I had, didn't see last year that I want to see this year. So basically, everybody, everyone that I've messaged, everyone I haven't messaged, just everyone. I want to see everyone. And um, what else was I going to say? Now, lots of people bring their own stuff. Um, they bring their own toys, do unboxings. Like I think um, Hot Rodney Prime is gonna was giving something away or some sort of raffle on his video. I don't think I won that. Um, I think it was Chat on that. Um, yeah. So anyway, so who's doing that? For example, he's bringing that. He's going to do an unboxing. I'd like to see that as well. Um, now, the only thing I'm actually good at is backgammon. Now, I do have a backgammon board somewhere. Um, Ronnie Ice wants a game, plays that, especially if you're playing for money. Not that I've got a lot of money to play with, but it's, it's a good game. And if anyone fancies the game, I'm always up for that. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's, that's my thing. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it, really. I think I'm going to get there about... I'm hoping to get there for midday -ish. can't say exactly what time and there's a few things that I want to go and see hopefully there'll be a few people hanging about in the bar and whatever um, yeah um, yeah so I'm going to get there about then like I say it's a few things I'm going to do then I think that's about it really um, I, can't, I, can't, I genuinely can't wait actually I, I think it's going to be really good this year I really am looking forward to it uh, yeah so I've only got one little question that I need to ask myself, in that that is the fact that what I've done with it, I've got it with someone. Um, here we go. Um, I've just got to choose what I listen to in the car on my two-hour drive up there. I'm either going to listen to um, we've got floor fillers. I don't know if that's going to come out. This floor fillers anthems, um, which is always good, but you've got to play it really loud in my car, or I'm going to play the soundtrack to La La Land. Um, I really don't know which. I'm probably going to be both, to be honest. So I've got 
two hours to kill in that car. Um, probably more now, more like the traffic. The M40, or was it the M42? Is anything to go by last year? Um, so anyway, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. I can't think. There's probably about a thousand things I was going to say, which I was thinking about what I was going to say and everything like that, which always sort of like just goes out of your head as soon as you start doing a video. Um, but yeah, but I'm looking forward to everything this year. Um, I'm going to have a couple of drinks at the bar, as in buy one from the bar, even though they're like £5.20 or whatever it is. The rest of it, I'm going to do something else. I've got a bottle of drink somewhere I'm bringing. I think I'm going to have to do that. Um, yeah, because I'm not making money. Uh, anyway, right, that is it really. I think that is it. Um, I shall see everybody there. And now, like I say, I ain't the best person at going up and speaking to people. So if you do see me, come and say hello to me because um, I'm crap, <laughs> to be fair. Um, and I shall see you... Friday, hopefully. I'll be there somewhere. If I get there midday and I'm not in one of the things, I'm just going to be, I'm just plonk myself in the bar, get a drink. Um, I've got my phone. Um, so if I'm there, even if I'm on my phone, don't, don't worry about coming over and speaking to me. That's it. The phone goes straight off. Um, and I shall see you all there. Um, let's have a look. I do have some things ready. I've got to buy something off off Zort Rider. I've got to buy, I've got to sell something to um, Soundwave SG1. Um, I think I'm still buying stuff for Ben's collectibles. I haven't heard from him lately though, so hopefully I have. Um, but yeah, there we go. I shall see you all on Friday. Or if you're only coming for the Saturday, I'll see you on Saturday. I'm going to take lots of video as well, actually. That's the other thing. I need a picture with everyone I meet. Um, I need lots of video because I'm going to do a nice big montage thing of all the things. Because I've done some last year. Now, I think Soundwave SG1 said said that he um, wasn't in anyone's videos. I actually saw myself, I saw myself in Max and Me Loves Toys video. <laughs> I was looking at his one um, yesterday and I saw myself, I'm right at the start. And I, um, plus, I was on somebody else's, who was it? I think it was Triple O Firestorms. I was in his. Um, so that's quite cool. Well, it seems good seeing yourself like that. It's well cool. So yeah, I'm going to take plenty and as much people and I make sure I get sound with SG1 in, in my. So there you go. Anyway, right. Um, yeah. I shall see you on Friday. Bye for now.